All right. Should we do the world-famous Raw report? Sure. I'm excited for this announcement. I'm much more excited, I think, than Tony Khan is for his announcement. Is it a billion-dollar announcement? It's, it's, it's an announcement, all right. Yes, it is. Yes, indeedy it is. So, opens up with Sammy and Kevin coming out for a promo where they talk about Roman Reigns challenging with Solo for the tag team titles. And Sammy's he's at a 10. He's, he's angry that Roman already has it all. He's got two titles. He's been the champion for a thousand days. And now this guy wants the tag titles as well. You can't have them, says Sammy. So the judgment day comes out. Owens is ready to fight. Sammy says, hold on, let's hear him out. So Priest says, listen, I want to fight, but uh, Finn here wants to talk. And Finn says, if by some miracle you win, when you get back, there's a lineup, a line of us waiting for those tag team title shots, and we want the first shot at them. And so Sammy wants Dom to speak. Of course, he gets booed out of the building. So finally, Kevin goes, can I just punch this guy already? Sammy goes, do it. So Kevin goes to punch, but Rhea gets in the way. And then Priest jumps Kevin. There's a brawl. Sammy gets a chair, clears the ring. We have a match scheduled for the main event. You know, then we had Shinsuke Nakamura versus Miz. And I am, if nothing else, a fair man. And there was a match with Miz a couple of weeks ago. It might have been with Seth, actually. But it was a really good match. And Miz had his working boots on. And uh, it's probably a three-and-a-half-star match with the Miz. And then this one here, he did not have his working shoes on. He was quite barefoot. This was a nothing happening. And then, I swear to God, this happened. The match starts. And Corey starts off on this big tirade he goes you know Miz is not nearly as bad as the people say he is he's been here forever he's won multiple titles he's a great wrestler if he was as bad as people said he was he wouldn't even be here now I would go as far as to say that Miz is great and he can hang with some of the best wrestlers in the world as God is my witness I swear on his stack of Bibles, he says that Miz could hang with some of the best wrestlers in the world, and Miz immediately throws a kick and misses by a foot. And Corey quietly mutters, glancing blow. (laughs) I died. I died absolutely died and i went back and i watched it this is what comedy is everybody it's timing and this was not only perfect timing but it was accidental perfect timing <laughs> the best kind shinsuke kinshasa him for the pin <laughs> adam pierce is backstage with raquel sonia and chelsea says Liv got hurt on smackdown not medically cleared which is true she's hurt And uh, he's explaining that the match, the title match, which had been advertised, must now be postponed. And I thought, shouldn't that be a forfeit? This is an advertised title match, and one of the participants can't wrestle. This should be be a forfeit. And then Sonya immediately said, you do realize that they should just forfeit these titles. And Adam Pearce's response is, come on, that's never going to happen. So Hey, it's not how it happens, all right? We won't do this in boxing. You'd be the day of. He announces. Somebody gets hurt, that's it. He announces the title match will be postponed. And instead, Raquel challenges Chelsea for tonight. Chelsea doesn't want to do it. Sonia volunteers her, so Chelsea says, fine, you're going to regret it. Corey interviews Seth. This was the first of three. We had an Imperium promo. And uh, Gunther's on the announce table, cuts promo. Says he's the longest reigning Intercontinental Champion of the modern era, like everybody else. And the Battle Royal tonight will determine the next challenger. So, I mean... I said there were like 50 guys in the ring. You know, Dave is. He goes, weren't quite that many. (laughs) Well, you know what? I didn't go back, but I actually am not sure that I was exaggerating. There were so many geeks in the ring. And it's a titanic battle royal. They're all just being thrown out immediately to get him out of there. 
And, you know, this guy interviews or, uh, inter, inter, uh, you know, eliminates this guy and whatever. So finally, comes down to Ali Riddle, Bronson Reed, and Ricochet. And Bronson plays King Kong on the Empire State Building. Ali and Ricochet are little airplanes trying to knock him off. He won't go down. But then finally, Ali is at last pilot. And he lands the perfect shot, which is a drop kick. And uh, and King Kong and Ricochet both fall off the building. King Kong did not put Fay Ray down on the side on this one. She went with him. And Ali is the winner. And he will be facing Gunther at Night of Champions for the Intercontinental. In Saudi title. Arabia. Yes. Yeah. He gave, they gave him fireworks for this. And you really didn't put over the fact uh, strong enough that this thing sucked. And one of the reasons they had the cornball eliminations at first was because we have J.D. McDonough, who doesn't get his video package and a thing about him until the end. They have him beat up Dolph Ziggler so they can go to break during a battle royal. It just sucked. Becky comes out for promo, just basically cuts to promo on Trish. Angry about what she said about her daughter. She's the number one woman, not Trish. She's going to prove it and beat her. At Night of Champions, that's when they're doing their match, their first match. Stand up for the people you care about. Trish is going to be able to buy a lot of yoga studios after this Saudi Arabia show. She got the, did you see? She got the, the key to Ottawa or whatever it was. We had a Rhea promo threatening Natty. And then this is a segment you got to go back and watch. So first, Ali is all happy, and he runs into uh, he runs into Alpha Academy and Maxine, trying to be all positive. And then he keeps dancing down; he's all excited, and he runs into Imperium. And uh, you got to watch this because I don't know what happened, and maybe nothing, but Gunther absolutely cannot keep a straight face, and he's always got that mean look. But he's literally smiling from like the moment this thing starts. And uh, he says, congratulations, Ali. You're the rightful challenger. But, you know, I feel some regret for you. You're going to travel halfway around the world and suffer the biggest loss of your career and the beating that goes along with it. So then he tries to do this, the straight face, you know, the Gunther look. And Ali starts going, you know, I feel bad for you, too. And you can see Gunther. He's like this. <laughs> he's trying so hard not to smile. And Ali goes off on this big deal about how... Too bad you're going to go there and back, and I'm going to beat you and humiliate you and take your title. And at this point, Gunther actually starts laughing. <laughs> and then uh, Ellie goes, stay positive, and he walks off. And then Gunther goes, and he tries to get all serious again. If it turned out that, like, Otis was, like, doing the super porky <laughs> dance in the background trying to crack Gunther, I'd believe it. I don't know what happened here, but I howled. Uh I think he was just trying to dismiss him at first, you know, kind of like laugh him off. And then when Ali was going to give it back to him, I think maybe that's when he was supposed to, you know, stone face back up again. But I, I, again, I hope it's the reason that, that you're giving and I hope it's been filmed somewhere and they put that up online. All righty. We had uh, Al, uh, see, Xavier and Dominic. God bless these guys. But like it's a second week in a row they've done this match. There's. There's like nothing. There's nothing on the line. There's they're not even really feuding. They're just having a cold match two weeks in a row. And Dom has beat him twice. And Dom's not talking, which means you know the the crowd is kind of sitting there. Yeah, I don't know. Then uh, we had J D McDonough. We had several video packages on this show. This J D McDonough package uh, miles better. But why? Then whatever goofy stuff he was way. doing in NXT, where he was like a, a he was like Jack the Ripper. That was telling us how to cut people up. Silly, though. You know, if you're going to beat up Dolph, have Dolph get eliminated by Von Wagner in some impressive way to put over somebody else, some faceless, you know, Zion Quinn was in there faceless. Have him get thrown out, walk to the back, and then get him wiped out by J.D. McDonough. That would have made more sense to me. Jingo says, how tall is J.D.? He's actually taller than you'd think. But he has that weird physique where he looks short, but he's actually not as short as you think he is. Cody did a promo. Imperium also wants a shot at uh, Sammy and Kevin. Cody did a promo. Dude, there's no, not one iota of of a hint that these people are getting ready to turn on Cody. This guy is so over. He's absolutely beloved coming out. He cuts his promo. 
He's all he's all ready to fight Brock, and he wants Brock to look in the mirror because I'm the one that put those scars on you. He says, you're not the big thing around here anymore. You're just in my way. And the place goes crazy for him, and he leaves. This guy is over. Zoe yelling at Nikki. Candace challenges her for next week. Then, like, it doesn't matter here, but it's Raquel versus Chelsea because they can't do the tag title match. Raquel just beats the crap out of her and pins her. <laughs> and it's over, and I'm like, I can't wait to see that title match. Man, that's going to be a heck of a tag match. And then Ronda and Shayna show up, and they destroy Raquel, and now they want a title match. So it's like, you couldn't wait one week to do this uh, like tag title match and yeah. get it over with. Now we're gonna we're supposed to care about like Raquel and Liv against, you know, a match to set Chelsea up an angle and, to lead to a match for an angle like, for a match. Whatever. This is not doing it for me at all. Nope. And then we had an Apollo Cruz video package. He yelled on a building. That's a weird gimmick. And then the main event: Kevin and Sammy against Priest. And Balor, they got like 25 minutes for this match. And uh, and the, the wrestling was good, but this was overbooked nonsense. Because Dom interfered. Rhea interfered. Dom and Rhea got tossed. Xavier beat up Dom. Paul Heyman came out to watch. And then Imperium came out. And then they first distract Kevin. And then Priest gives Kevin a choke slam. Then Imperium interferes again. They actually got inside the ring to distract the referee, which allowed another one of them to trip up Sammy. And then Sammy ends up getting hit with the drop kick and coup de gras and pinned. And this is another one. It's like, I like setting up things for the future. But, dude, we're setting up 25 challengers for Sammy and Kevin before they even have the match with Roman. There's no way they should be losing to Finn Balor, leading to a match with Roman Reigns and Solo. And this sucked. This plaque. I'm still yeah. waiting for this stupid plaque. Yeah, Bischoff. Paul and Bischoff or who? What in God's name is going on? Uh-oh. Who let you in here? Everybody's favorite. Come over here. You can't even be seen. What? Oh, my God. Oh! Happy days here for Brian Alvarez. There it is. Presented oh, to F4W that. Online for passing 100,000 subscribers. Uh-huh. I want to give Oreo a hug. Come here, you big fat whale. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to everybody hey. out there. Uh-oh. Hey! Uh what are you doing? Brian? Oreo? Hey, oh. I'm taking over the show! Oh, no. Dom, Oreo. hit that music, brother! Ah, the hell with it. You know what? It's Monday. It's dance party. No, no, man. Yeah, no. Yeah. I love you guys. I love you. Oh. When can you have this much fun on a Monday on Wrestling Observer Live? I think we may have started something new here. I hate that whale. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.